Alright guys, I'm plugging in my Amazon Fire TV for the first time here. Let's go ahead and uh, check out how this works. Ooh, my TV looks like it's dirty. That's what happens when you got little kids. They put stuff on your TV. Fair warning. Alright, here we go. There it is. There's your boot animation. I guess you would call it. Um, Amazon Fire TV. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm just recording my TV with my camera just because I don't actually have um, some kind of like TV recording box or anything like that. Unfortunately, maybe that'll be a thing I get here in the future. But um, searching for remote, there you go. Uh, press the play pause button to start. So, oh, downloading latest software. Now, normally you probably would have to go through like setting up your Wi Fi stuff right here. Um, but I actually have this hardwired because I had an extra Ethernet cable behind my TV, so I just plugged it direct. So that's probably why it's actually already downloading software. So let's let the software download. I'll show it to you once this thing gets done. It's neat that it's already updating though. It's just obviously they're either found some bugs or they already have some improvements. One of the two, probably both actually, since this is brand new. Uh, we'll come right back to it once it finishes the update. Okay guys, well it looks like the um, download has completed, alright, and it's powering off the device to apply the update I'm assuming. And again we have the Amazon little uh, logo there. I want to know if this thing's going to like boot into recovery to do an update. Oh, it is kind of a quasi recovery I guess. Installing latest software, cool. Very interesting. Do not unplug, blah, blah, blah. You know, the usual things when it's doing an update. So I'm doubting this will take too long. Don't really know. Download was about three minutes. Although, again, I have good network and I'm not even on Wi Fi. I'm hardwired into my network. So um, I don't really know how big that download actually was. So hopefully, this the uh, update won't take too long. Um, what I'm really wondering though is if this is Android, I wonder if I can replace this recovery system. That would be fun. Maybe put some twerp recovery on it or something like that. We'll see here once we uh, boot this thing up. Okay, that was quick. Screen just went off and then flicked back to this. So it's doing a reboot. That only took about mm, a minute and a half maybe to apply that update. So not too bad really at all. And there we go. That was a little funky. Oh, okay. It's doing some more. That's interesting was not expecting that so it obviously updated something maybe it updated recovery or maybe it updated like the bootloader possibly there and needed to reboot to finish applying the update that'd be my guess I guess I'm not really sure so I guess be ready the first time you turn yours on Ooh, here we go Fire TV lets you stream a huge amount of entertainment. And the Amazon Fire TV remote lets you access it all. I got the remote, you yes. You can access the entertainment you love with just this remote and the sound of your voice. It's really pretty Alright, how do we skip this guy? Just press and hold this button Ooh. at the top of the remote. He's telling me what to do. Should I do it? Watch after the tone. Nah, we'll watch the whole video. Your choice shows up instantly. We take and to help improve your experience. Use your voice to find movies, TV shows, actors, mm. directors, film categories, Oh yeah, Wolverine, TV, baby. Apps. No need to say commands like search or play. That movie was kind of slow. Press and hold Wasn't really digging it. Button. Say the name. My kids like Epic, though. That was pretty cool. Give you the results you're looking for. All right. I'm going to see if I can skip this thing. Press here to select what you want from the voice search results. Doesn't let me skip it. And the Fire TV remote. Pushing buttons. The home button. Takes you to your fire oh no! This is a required video. And press the back button. Oh my word! I think I can handle it. Press here to Stop! Down, left or right. Stop talking press to me! To select. With Fire TV, you can watch hundreds uh, of thousands of movies and TV. It's like shows. watching a commercial before I get to play with my toys. Seriously, come on! I'm sure I can figure this out without your help. For other Amazon. And any movie or TV show. All right, we'll sit through it. To your watch list and access it on the home screen. Just click right here. If you're an Amazon Prime member, 
In addition to the shipping benefit, shows all at no extra cost. Woohoo! Prime member, no worries. Right after this start video, your free trial now. You get a chance to sign up for a free 30-day trial. I already have so it. You can try it for yourself. I don't want to. Gaming. With Fire TV, no, you can play stop. some really fun games. Where's the skip you button? Directional buttons on your remote. Skip. Or you can use the Amazon Fire Game Controller. Ooh, that looks cool. It's like if you have 40 bucks for that controller if you guys are interested in it. You could start a video on your HDX. If you like playing you games, it might be cool on here. I'm not sure yet though. Because it won't let me play with the damn thing. Amazon Cloud Drive, you can store your pictures and personal videos. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We've just scratched the surface of what you're going to be able to do. If you want to watch this video again, no. for help, go to settings. And click on the help button. Perfect. I'll never do that ever again. Thank you, and enjoy your new Amazon. Goodbye, little man. Oh, come on. Finally, can we do something here? Loading. Still ain't done. Had to watch that boring movie. La, 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 la. Come on. It says it has a quad core. I think maybe it doesn't. I think it's I think it's taking its precious time here. Oh, finally. No parental control. That's good. We'll go with that one. No parental control. All right. Here we go. Finally, we got something. First thing I want to do is just go into settings because I want to see what all of this comes with. So, we're going to go to system and we're going to go to about. And here we go. This is what I want to see right here. So it actually already, already, I think, signed in with my information. So you can see it already has my um, name there, Tom's Fire TV. Here you can see the available storage. So you have 5.2 gigs on board. Um, this is technically, I think, an 8 gig model, but the rest of it's operating system and things like that. Um, controller connected is one, which is the remote it comes with. Um, it's interesting. We'll, we'll go back out. It says controller. So you can click on that and gamepad and add those controllers and check that kind of stuff out parental control applications you can see a couple different applications that are on here already which is kind of nice um, second screen that would be turning on so that you can hook up your amazon fire to it and uh, kindle fire i should say and do second screen stuff with it which is pretty cool and accounts and help so interesting for that I thought there might be some more settings in there that might give you some more information but looks like that's about it um, otherwise here you go you can see some applications your library so these are the applications that come on the device pretty cool you know standard stuff Netflix obviously um, definitely be using that my kids love Netflix Intune and Pandora they like that too show times um, and then let's see what we got here popular list other applications spotlights categories so all that kind of goodies here's games there looks like there's no games on the system but uh, let's go back down no thank you for right now um, popular list so some different things you guys can play with let's see what we got else we got down here that looks like a really cool game right there. There's uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition, if you like that. Walking Dead stuff. Asphalt 8, cool game. Riptide, cool game. Ooh, life, my kids will like playing that. That looks pretty sweet. Monsters, it goes on and on. So a bunch of cool games, definitely right there. Have to check those out and see how they work with just the remote or if you have to have the game pad. Video library, so you can see some videos watched. Um, TV shows, it looks like. So you can go through all of those, just like a pretty good variety. Movies, again, different movies to watch right here, pretty sweet. Home, looks like Home gives you recent, um, some Prime stuff. Feature apps and games, feature movies and TV, a whole bunch of different things you can go through in Home. All right, so then you got search. You can obviously do some kind of voice search right here, or I think you can just hold the button. So I don't know, let's just try this. Um, just try to hold the button, see what happens. So, there. Okay, there you go. That's what happens when you hold the button down, and then when you let go of it, it's thinking. So it's trying to. There you go. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Let's try it again. Let's watch 24. Let's see how smart this thing is. Yeah. Okay. Then hit enter. Let's watch 24. Well, that's pretty stupid. Let's try a different one. 
I didn't say nothing. Now it's got to think about nothing. 24. So you say what you want to say, then you hit the circle button in the middle and it searches for them. Okay, so there you go. So 24. Now you can search for things with, say, 24. Cool. That's pretty sweet. Um, definitely liking that. That's really pretty, pretty cool, really. And I think you can do that at any time and search for something else. Basically, you hold down the button on the remote as long as you want to talk. When you let go, it thinks and tries to come up with what, what you said. Actually, pretty good voice recognition. I'm actually liking that. Um, let's just go back here and check out the rest of it. But, uh, yeah, some photos. You can put photos in here, all that kind of stuff. I'm sure there's features that I'm not even going through here. But um, so far, pretty cool. I definitely like the voice thing. That's really nice. You know, like, for example, you want to watch Anchorman 2, you just go Anchorman 2. And it should come up with the right thing. Hit enter and shabam, there's Anchorman. And actually Anchorman 1 right there also. Um, so very, very cool. Do you have a settings button on your remote, which doesn't seem to work on this screen. But um, yeah, so far interface is nice. It's very easy to use. Kind of digging it. So I guess I would say stay tuned for more videos on this device. I think there's a root access for this thing already out there, possibly. So I'll probably do some hacking on it and things like that once uh, more development happens on it. That's pretty much all I got for you today. Hope you guys like this video review, setup kind of deal, overview of the Kindle. Or I shouldn't say Kindle, the Amazon Fire TV. And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.